Hey guys, how's it going? In the last episode, we talked about two different kinds of wrapper designs that we used back in 2019. These designs were mainly used in challenge competitions. In this year's challenge competition, teams need to obtain the center blocks to have better odds on winning. In this episode, let's talk about four bar mechanisms, which is the linking mechanism between the claws and the robot. There are all kinds of four bar mechanisms, but today we are only going to focus on one four bar mechanism that we used back in 2018. During 2018 competition, we used a four bar mechanism to pick up pins from the middle and place them at the top of the cargo bay. After some testing, we decided to add one extra claw to the robot, doubling the efficiency. And the design also helped with repositioning the pins from the bottom to the top. We achieved the system by using autonomous and programming the path from the starting zone to the middle and then returning to the cargo bay. Throughout the autonomous period, we have faced many challenges such as robot position accuracy, path differences, and pin variation which you might heard me talking about it in my third episode. Later on, in 2019, we improved these problems by adding distance sensors to the robot and improving the codes by using encoders. In this design, we can see that by simply adding a motor with a gear reduction might not be enough to lift the claw design when loaded with cargo. If you didn't balance out the weight by adding a rubber band or gas spring, you might affect motor durability, motor efficiency, or even burning the motor. This is because by increasing the weight on the claw, you will basically pump more amps to the motor, resulting in decreasing the motor durability, motor efficiency, or even burning the motor in extreme. As I have mentioned, if you add a rubber band to the arm, it will counterbalance the mechanism, reducing the load on the motor. And you can do so by simply tightening the rubber band to the forebar mechanism and the frame. And also, if you want to keep the claw in position, on the top or at the bottom, you can add an idling speed to the mechanism when the claw travels to the top or to the bottom. This way, the claw position will not be affected by the movement of the robot. At the same time, we can put different types of claws onto the mechanism. And also, in the next episode, you will see how I designed my lightweight slider elevator mechanism so that we can put different types of claws onto the slider. And with seven rubber bands, it won't even go down. And basically you just have to figure out the perfect rubber band mount for your design. That's it for today's video. Once again, thanks for watching all the way till the end. In the next video, let's talk about lightweight, efficient elevator designs. If you liked it, you can subscribe if you want, share it with our friends and teams, and make sure to wear a mask. And until next time, goodbye.